Hi, I'm Alan McNaughton, a full-stack JavaScript and PHP developer. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about a large project I did a number of years ago. I created a business management system from scratch with full e-commerce capabilities. The system takes orders from sales reps and clients, handles online payments, sales tax calculations, calculates commissions, does everything the client needs to run their business. It also handles automatic assignment of incoming leads to sales reps based on geography. The site was built back in 2008 and the UI has not changed much since then. Uh, anyway, that doesn't change the underlying functionality of the site. It is run the client's business from A to Z for eight years, trouble-free, which is something I'm quite proud of. Uh, it's built using KPHP, which is an open source MVC uh, framework, and uh, integrated with an open source CMS, because uh, there are a lot of content-related pieces that go along with the site. Uh, it was built by myself uh, and a small team of contract developers. I recruited and managed those developers, of which most were on short. Uh, so let me show you some of the features of the site and then a bit of the code which I'm sure you're most interested in. Um, so uh, here we have a basic shopping cart. Uh, let's you know, add a few items to the cart. And uh, you know, we can see the basic operation of the cart. Uh, pretty straightforward, um, as most shopping carts are. Uh, but this has some additional logic included in it um, that allows um, uh, the clients to implement their specific uh, rules for incentives and commission structures and uh, bonuses. Um, so uh, the client is an MLM direct selling type company, so uh, they have a very unique uh, sales model and the shopping cart and, and the whole uh, business management system implements that sales model. Um, so you know, over here we have a cart, we can check out, we can place the order, we can process the payment, um, and then uh, everything flows through to the back end where you know, all the inventory management is handled along with uh, fulfillment, you know, printing packing slips and all that other utilitarian functionality. Um, so uh, there's some other key components to this as well, which I'll show. Uh, so we also have a full lead management system. Uh, this is what the individual sales rep will see when they log in and go to their leads. Uh, you know, they'll see a dashboard of leads. Uh, they can then uh, actually uh, decide whether they want to accept that lead or not. So you know, these leads were assigned to them based on geography. Um, and then uh, the individual you know, sales rep can say, yeah, I want that or I don't want it. And if they don't want it, they click reject. And then that lead is automatically picked up and uh, handled, uh, handed off to the next available person in the pool. Um, so a very uh, handy system that saves a lot of labor uh, for lead assignment. Um, another thing I want to show you quickly is the, uh, the downline report. Uh, this is a downline report based on some mock data. And it shows um, you know, the hierarchy of the sales team. Uh, so think of a sales team that has a manager, and that manager has people below them, and then those people have a manager, and so on. Um, so there's a hierarchy, and it's called a downline. And uh, what we do is uh, you, you, uh, implement a tree structure, which I'll show you the code for, uh, to actually calculate these sales volumes and group them to the right place. Uh, so whenever somebody has um, uh, pair people below them, uh, we want to attribute uh, those uh, sales numbers uh, to the right person. Um, so we're going to jump quickly over to that code, and I'll show you how that works. So uh, this is a, a class that I use. Uh, it's pretty much the only class I can really show you uh, because uh, most due to client confidentiality, I cannot show you uh, the remainder of the code that really implements most of the site. Uh, but this class is uh, sufficiently abstracted and has any uh, you know uh, proprietary information uh, uh, removed from it. Um, so uh, this is called a downline tree, and uh, what we would do is we would instantiate this downline tree. And we would pass in the data model, you know, where we're getting our data from, and the month of, and year that we want the sales data for. Um, and then the class would actually go and pull all this information together and return to us a, uh, an object that's ready to use. Um, so uh, when we query uh, the sales data, um, it's stored in a form such that each individual sales rep has a parent ID, and the parent ID is um, uh, their manager. Um, or in direct sales parlance, it's the person who recruited them, which is technically a you know, manager type individual. Um, and that, ma that manager may have a manager, and that ma manager may have a manager too. Um, so what we want to do is we want to roll up, we want to create a hierarchy, a, a tree, st a tree uh, structure hierarchy uh, out of this flat data. Um, so this uh, map tree recursive function here, uh, it, it takes the data that comes back from SQL, uh, which is in flat form, of course, because uh, it just returns back a bunch of records, 
and you know you have the the sales rep ID and you have the parent ID, which is the uh, ID of their uh, manager, and then this uh, this basically uh, traverses uh, that data set and um, and when uh, it finds uh, that the person has children, it creates a uh, a, a a nested um, array structure type um, tree uh, that it then returns uh, for the class to use. So uh, this code here uh, annotates the tree. Uh, this uh, code will then uh, traverse the tree and when it finds that that node has children, it will then annotate that node. So it's calling itself here, recursively calling itself. Um, and we have some protection here to ensure we don't get infinite recursion. You know, there's a max number of levels that are that are allowed, so it doesn't blow up. Uh, we check for that, and um, and when uh, the when the recursive routine returns, it actually uh, will return the sales volume for all the people in that subtree, and it keeps on bubbling back up the hierarchy as it returns, and passing those numbers along. Um, so. As the sales number for the subtree is calculated, it's then passed to its return to its parent, and then uh, so on and so on and so on. So you get a, uh, a you get a properly annotated uh, uh, tree where uh, the top node is the total sales, and then each node below that is the sales for that node and their and their children. Um, so you can take a look at this code at your leisure. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was helpful to you.